How can two players in EVE Online outmaneuver a 300 person corporation and create potentially one of the most incredible heists ever done in an MMO and do it all without a single ship being destroyed? Now, MMOs are a really special genre. You can create beautiful social connections that lead into marriages and lifelong friends. You can create such wonderful nostalgic memories of things you accomplished. And you can also steal $22,000 worth of digital goods. Uh, the last one. What the f***? Well, that's exactly what happened in EVE Online, making it the largest heist in the game's storied history of just such events, surpassing the $10,000 year-long heist back in 2017. This heist, which is more than double that generous sum, may have ultimately been foiled if someone just checked their email. You've got mail. EVE Online is an interesting game in the MMO space. It's a game that I've loaded up for all of a few minutes, immediately felt overwhelmed by, and left. At times, it's been referred to as a space Excel spreadsheet due to the in-depth knowledge required for the game. But essentially, it's a space-based MMO that launched all the way back in 2003 that allows players to participate in several different in-game professions, including mining, manufacturing, trading, exploration, combat, and piracy. Yes, piracy. EVE Online sits firmly on the high ground for MMOs, boasting nearly 10 million total players over the years per MMOPopulation.com, putting it at a similar current ranking of Guild Wars 2, and an average daily player base peak of around 200 to 250,000 players. No slouch at all, with many players obviously enjoying the opportunities for fun and perhaps real world gain in this MMO. EVE Online regularly makes headlines due to thrilling space battles with real-world losses, massive heists and incredible exploits, months or even years in the making. This heist, though, is decidedly not that. And that's perhaps what makes it so interesting. Guilds in EVE are known as corporations. Corporations can claim entire systems, form alliances to participate in large-scale fleet battles, and even collect taxes. Taxes which can be used by the director or CEO to replace ships or purchase equipment for members of the corporation. There are a dizzying array of roles in corporations for a layman like myself unfamiliar with EVE Online, so we'll just say there's a lot more bureaucratic structure than just simply guild leader, officer, and members, which most of us are used to. There's even a shares mechanic in EVE Online that gives players with shares a controlling interest in the corporation. A deceptively simple mechanism allegedly used by Redditor Flam Hill and a still unnamed co-conspirator to fleece the Event Horizon Expeditionaries, a corporation with almost 300 members. To do this, they applied for membership on what they called a clean account, and once accepted, transferred enough shares to the new member to enable a call for a vote on a new CEO. Normally not an issue, right? You've got 300 members. Except. They chose this corporation specifically due to a mostly inactive board. EVE Online has a 72 hour waiting period on share votes, but apparently not a participation requirement, which allowed the two yes votes to change the CEO to be viewed as the majority. No one in the board voted beyond the two co-conspirators throughout the 72 hour period. This made the infiltrating agent the new CEO of the 300 member corporation. Flam Hill was then elevated to director and then removed the other corporate directors from their positions and began emptying out their vaults. All I can think of with this heist is that if it was an Ocean's Eleven movie, we would have spent like over an hour on the setup and then been brutally disappointed that the end result was essentially just a bunch of bureaucrats being lazy. Where's the gymnast climbing into a box to get into the vault? The careful ruse. It's just kind of boring, but also Amazing. Flam Hill and their co-conspirator walked away with an estimated total value from the heist of 2.23 trillion in ISK, the in-game currency. 130 billion of that was in the actual currency, but with the rest of it being massive assets such as multiple large ships. This carries an estimated value per PC gamer of $22,300 USD. And while ISK can't be legally cashed out in EVE, it can be used to buy a premium currency, Plex, which can be used to upgrade accounts, activate services like doubling your training speed, 
or multiple character training. Now, before you walk away from this thinking any player can do this in an inactive corporation, Flam Hill had an immense amount of shares in the corporation, which is what allowed him to create the vote in the first place. But this strategy is still viable elsewhere. The way corporation voting systems work in EVE Online is that any member holding more than 5% of the total shares can start a vote. And the option that wins that vote ha that has to have more than 50% of the vote. Thus, two votes out of no other votes wins. And while this all may sound a bit far-fetched, it's actually been confirmed by CCP Games that it did actually happen, CCP being the game developer. Though of course they didn't go into all the details the way like say PC Gamer did. Nothing like a bit of free advertising for your space sandbox MMO though, right? I mean, how many of you are now interested in trying out EVE Online and seeing if you can and go into some corporate espionage? I previously covered some other crazy MMO stories, but you're damn right, EVE Online is actually in that video, and you can find it right here. My name is Redbird Flynn, thank you so much for watching this video, and I hope you have a wonderful day.